Okay, guys, happy homebrew Wednesday. Uh, in tonight's uh, brief video, I'm just going to be talking about glasses um, and uh, a glass that was brought to my attention just recently. Oh, all right, steady on. Um, so I just want to show you this glass, and um, you may be familiar with them. This is it here. This glass here. And what's cool about it is it's been etched. Can you see that? You see on the bottom there? See those little cross hatched etchings? It's not a new idea, it's been around for a little while, but um, some of the big breweries have been doing it, they etch their logos onto the bottom, and the theory behind it is that the etching causes the uh, formation of more bubbles or continuous head. So I thought what I'd do tonight is test this out and um, instead of using a home brew um, we've got a Bex, sort of mainstream sort of commercial beer and I thought I'll pour one um, in each and let's just see if it actually works. Alright, so let's crack the bottle and here I have just a standard beer glass. Right, you know, put all your bits in. Pretty lifeless. Look at that. Into the etched glass. Pretty lifeless. But let's line them up side by side. Like that. Non etched. Etched. Can you see those bubbles continuously coming up? Let's pull it back a wee bit. And you can actually see that the etched glass has more bubbles in it. Wow, well, bugger me. I didn't know it would work. I think what's really cool about this is that um, this is a really affordable way of these glasses. Um, I just someone bought one into work, you know. Um, they don't cost much more. Um, you're only looking at um, you know, fifty cents a unit more, so it's pretty cheap. Ooh. It's all right. It's all right. It works. But look. Anyhow, what else has been going on? Super exciting things down here in Dunedin. Dunedin is, um, those of you who don't know, those of you overseas, is, is a big education city. So the big, uh, really well-known university here and the place where I work at Polytechnic, which is a tertiary institute as well. Anyhow, so we have um, the Science Festival on uh, again this year, we have it every year, and it always has projects related to food and food and beverage and those sorts of things. Um, and this year we're working with Richard Emerson from Emerson's Brewery and he's doing a talk or a workshop or basically an evening of drinking and eating around the notion of beer um, that beer is a natural complement to fermented food products um, let me tell you a little bit more about that when you ferment a food product Fundamentally, you increase this flavour in it, in a thing called umami, which is like a richness. Um, gen uh, good examples of umami-rich products are like cheese. Uh, God, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Um, 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 um. Anyway, I can't think of any others. But oh, sauerkraut, things like that. So he's doing. We're doing this dinner with him, and last week, last Friday. We were lucky enough to sit down and taste a range of Emerson's beers and other beers. And um, uh, one of one of our students, Samson Rudd, who I've showed you a picture of his work before, he's hugely into beer, very talented young man. He has gone about devising a menu for it. Um, so it's going to be available here in Dunedin. And basically, um, just running through some of the ideas to date, um, uh, we were playing around the other night your research as well. I was playing around the other night with um, Ho Garden and um, and uh, 
they made a dish where Samson created his own uh, malt vinegar, um, fermented it, and served it with cockles and something else, can't remember what it was. Bloody delicious, fantastic combination. Um, they had uh, picking up on the Asian theme, which was really interesting. They made like a flatbread and they used fermented black beans in it. Um, and then they did like uh, the fermented black beans with like um, slow cooked pork. Then they served it with uh, freshly made kimchi, fermented. Um, and that actually worked really well with the Emerson's 1812, which was quite surprising. Um, other really cool products that they came out with was fermented coconut water which sets like a gel which sounds weird but tastes like Turkish delight um, and it ended up working really well with um, Emerson's Tory Jord so just something really exciting so that event will be happening in Dunedin there will be tickets available for it and that's happening um, I think it's the week starting at the 7th of July there will be more information about that coming up so very very cool let's go back to these bears it's part A. Amazing. Anyhow, super exciting times. Um, so, that's enough from me tonight. Um, I had a great beer the other day. Keep your eyes out for all you Kiwis. It was by the Beer Baroness, and uh, she brews out of Christchurch. Um, contract brews, or use a, use a facility up there. And I had the First Lady APA. So American style beer, um, nice some co flavors. I thought there might have been some Chinook in there, maybe something like that. One of the seas, the Cascade, Centennial, something like that. Uh, fantastic beer. Keep your eyes open for that, along with the Vandal, which has just recently hit the shelves. Um, anyhow, that's enough for me. Etched beer glasses. There's another word for it. Uh, new, new I can't remember. Can't remember. Google it, etched beer glasses. The results speak for themselves. Catch you guys next week. Happy Homebrew Wednesday.